we always do at this time, people. I'm just sitting here. You know, I cut people slack sometimes because I be I make some videos and I be like, you know, I give people the benefit of the doubt before I just dog them. It was a video running around with Pooh Shiesty and his chain. They were saying he was sleeping with a transsexual. Well, somebody from Rochester, New York, where Pooh Shiesty was at, I think the other day, where he performed that, said that he had a lot of gay tendencies. They even had pictures of some guy up there. It didn't even look like Pooh Shiesty with a blue and white Puma suit on look like. I mean, black and blue Puma suit. But... What what was kind of messed up about the whole scenario was that that Pooh invited females from Rochester, New York to get on stage with him. And I heard he kicked them off rudely and left a very bad taste in the mouth of Rochester, New York. So now, with that being said, did they do this guy really like women? The way they say he treated the women that came on the stage, go dancers and all, kicked them off the stage rudely. Like he wasn't even into females. Maybe he wanted to do some Birdman stuff and have a bunch of men come up there and dance. I guess I'm not sure. But anyway, no more delay. Check out this song. Somebody keep telling me to check out this record. Check out this record. Y'all know I gotta slow it down because I got a lot of haters on me right now and keep giving getting my videos blocked and banned and all this crap. They I ain't even gonna name any names, but certain person got certain people got their subs all over my page. Look, just look. Look at the comments. They all over my page making comments, bringing up they they the people that they sub to and they striking all of our channels left and right. So we gotta do everything on the up and up now, you know? But anyway, check out this video. In this video Little Dirk again. This is Vaughn. He said something about a new pack or something and pointed at the hat with Vaughn they said. So let's check this out and see what they're talking about and see could we see what they're talking about. So who you said he don't fuck people, they fuck with other ops. Could that be directed towards Dirk? He said you leave him without a lawyer. That shit just dumb as fuck. And look. I know y'all can't see this shit. Look who's all over here in the video. Look who big fucking face is right there in the fucking video. No other than Muwap. Fuck you, Muwap. You ain't do shit to save Vaughn that night. Fuck you. Oh, I'm sorry. I was supposed to change my language. F you. Did I say that right? You come out sour at your gun, little boy. You dumb as fuck. And how could he not come out of this house with his gun when y'all had... Now, I understand. He said he told his P.O. he get high as fuck, right? When she asked him with who, look who we point to. Look what hat he point to. She's not Vaughn. We said that Vaughn did the song dissing Big Mike, but the video, he dissed Dirk in the video. I feel like Dirk did the same thing back to him in this video, because look. How you gonna say he get high as duck but pointed at that hat? Did that make sense to y'all? I mean, but people want to jump in and be like, Vaughn wouldn't, uh, Dirk would have never did this to Vaughn. Dirk never would have did that to Vaughn. Man, shut up. Learn something new today, man. This man did shut him up. Look at this. And this is the song that everybody's telling me to check out. Look how pretty Dirk fingernails is. Good gracious. Them look better than my old lady fingernails. Could y'all see that? Look how glossy those fingernails are. I wish I would put anything on my nose. My hands stay ashy and my nose is, they stay clean. I do clean my nose every day. Wash my hands, clean my nose, all that. But once I finish washing my hands and cleaning my nose, I don't put no lotion on. I leave them ashy because when I punch my and they junk, I want it to hurt. I want it to be rough, rugged, and red. And y'all wonder who Dirk, I mean, who Vaughn was talking about when he had the, the video with the guy with the gray sweatshirt with the Oxycontin on there? Y'all still trying to figure out who he was talking about, though, huh? <laughs> you know, I'm going to say this again. Pooh Shiesty came to Rochester, New York. People went out to see him. He only stayed for one hour. Out of a four or five hour venue, he stayed for one hour. And he did not want any females on him. 
Then Boosie just do the same thing. Y'all mad when the female touch the stomach? Because when I'm up on the stage and I'm rocking, y'all can touch my stomach. Y'all can touch my leg. Y'all can even touch that. And I'm not like, just don't squeeze me and hurt me. Just don't hurt me. But I think that's sexy a lady rubbing on my stomach while I'm up here ripping and rocking. I'd have, have threw my hands up a little bit and let it get that stomach. Get it, baby. Get it, get it, get it. These dudes... They get mad when women come on the stage. They get mad when women flirt with them. They get mad when women touch them. You got niggas kicking women in the face when they touch them. Don't touch me. Well, for all you men, don't want to be touched. Send them over to me. They could touch me all day. Touch me, tease me. You will have to wear. Yeah, you know where I'm going with that anyway. But... This is the video that everybody's talking about. Y'all should go check it out. Speed it up in the normal speed because I, I slowed it down. I just did another video. I'm not, I, I don't know. I'll just probably let that one just ride out. I'm not even trying to make any money off the last video I did by Mike Tyson. I just want to make people aware why I'm not going with the Mayweather. None of that. Tyson went with Mayweather straight. Turned me against Mayweather. I don't even want to deal with Mayweather no more. And then it makes you think. If Tyson had to hug and kiss men and do all this stuff just to... Like we always do at this time. I'm just sitting here. Reminiscing and shit. You know. I let y'all see the post. Nigga cannot sleep for shit. But listen. I'm sitting here watching this video. Right. Tell me what. The, okay. This is supposed to be King Von shooting. Right. First of all. This is not the scene that we saw. This had to be the back parking lot. And what happened to Slutty them. But what bothers me is, they never said someone got stabbed to death. They never said someone got shot to death in a truck. Listen. I don't want no sound. Watch close. Now, these, these dudes in the huddle up there, they start to fight. You <clears throat> see, they had a guy on his knees already. But then they, somebody blanked out that part of the tape. So somebody doctored this video. <coughs> they said, when you tell the truth, you sneeze. See that? Mm -mm -mm. Look, now you fell to the ground. I look stabbed. Stabbed. See that? Somebody getting stabbed to death. And they pushed him back. Whoever was doing the stabbing, they pushed him back while he was down there on the ground stabbing. Look, one, two. Look, somebody pushed him back. He trying to get back over. He mad, whoever that is. But he stabbed that guy. Now, y'all want to see that again? First day in the huddle. First day had a guy on the ground. And now they, they knocked somebody on the ground. Now, look, they stabbed him. Look. What else could his hand be going back and forth doing? That wasn't a punch motion. It's like he was stabbing him with something. They pushed him back. This dude walked back like he was mad. Now, note one thing. After they finish with this guy, they walks over to the white pickup truck and they start flashing a, a flashlight through the window as someone was hot. Someone ran and hid inside that truck. Look, they got a flashlight. They looking all, look. See how they looking all through the truck? Somebody's hiding in the truck. I guess after they spot him, they, they somebody shot through the window. When he pointed the flashlight through the through the window, he also shot in the front windshield. Listen, look. Boom, right there. He, he fired the shot, then he flashed the light. When he fired that shot inside the truck, whoever's in the truck, they started backing out. Now look. Look how many times they shot inside this truck. I never, look, there was somebody else got knocked to the ground. It's a few people getting beat up. You see this? It's, a, listen, it's at least three, four people getting their ass dog walked over here. We never heard this. But they did say fights broke out. Remember they said the fight broke out? Man, it was mad people back here getting stabbed, beat before Vaughn. Why you think that Vaughn jumped out of the truck mad? He knew that this shit was going on over here. They had done told him. That's why he jumped out the truck, was walking over there. But when he seen Quando, he probably was like, nigga, you swung on him. Bam, 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 bam. Because look at all this shit that's going on. Look. 
Look how many times they shoot in this truck. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They shot at least ten times in this truck, man. And then the truck stopped, came to a complete stop. Which means that whoever was doing that shooting, they killed them. Look, and they carrying somebody else as they shot him. At least four people got beat up in this parking lot. Four people. Because they had one guy on his knees beating him up right there. They drug him out. This four dudes dragging out somebody. Look, he on his knees. See the guy on his knees? He on the light color. Look, he on his knees. They dragging him. They dragging him. They go another one. They... They drug multiple people out this vehicle, but yeah, and still they said King Von shooting surveillance video. How? When did this happen? Maybe because, well, hold on. I'm going to let this play, and then I'm going to show you the other video that we saw. And note one thing, those white SUVs is all back there too. And then what they did at the end, see this car pulling up? Another car pulls up on the side of that. They blocked off that whole walkway while they was killing those dudes. Look, that, that car just blocking off. So whoever in the back, I guess, can't see what they're doing in the front. Now, another car going to pull up, too. Now, look. When they see him stabbing that boy, look, they with the other car. Now, they pulls up, and they all they, they getting a clear view of what's going on. Whoever these people is in this car is the people who caught the hit. Now, now you see in this video why King Von is out here getting killed. His team is in the back taking a fucking ass whooping. Taking a fucking ass whooping. And they all got beat up, stomped, pulled out of car, shot. Same way King Von did out here. And you had the truck sitting here watching him. But let me explain. They knew what was going on. Just like I, I, I feel totally like this now. Someone called King Von. They didn't say Quando Rondo was over there. They said, yo, they back there jumping, slutting them. Or they back there jumping whoever that was in the back. When King Von jumped out walking like that, why you think everybody was walking behind him like that? But before they got to the scene, they had the decoy there. Quando Rondo. Now, this is why the girl is saying Quando Rondo. Tell them what you, I tell what you did. Because you know what Quando Rondo did? He took the money to bait King Vaughn because they did not want King Vaughn to get back there to that back. Had a shooter in place, so if he did make it towards the back, he wasn't going to make it. And now you see that video. Now look at this video. Day and night. But these instances happen all at the same time. Oh, what do I do with the play? I'm just going to sign out this play. He do. Let me go. Let me go. Now notice that everybody running towards the back. Towards the back of the building. What's going on back there? And look, that truck backing on out. But let me tell you what that truck went and did. That truck went right around the other way and watched the other scene and watched the other dudes die. And then they probably left. Now, look, when dude with the black coat see that King Von dead, look, he basically was talking to Tim when Tim was walking on the other side of the truck. But he's supposed to be this old block hitter. Why ain't he bust his shit? Look. He runs right over there. It's like he picked some up off the ground by that truck. What did he pick up? Why ain't they try to stop the truck? Stop the dudes from getting in the truck, getting away. Do something. That's not track. That's that's youngin, old block youngin. And I remind you. Old Block Youngin had a problem because he was mad about the Old Block chain because they said that King Von gave Boss Top two chains, which happened to be one of his chains, and they said everybody didn't get the chain. That's why King Von went off and was like, check this out, bro. If I hear one of you niggas talking shit about who ain't get a chain, I'm going to beat you the fuck up. That dude wasn't taking that lightly because he's supposed to be. He might look at the pictures when King Von was in jail. That dude was running Old Block. Look at the old pictures. He was even in pictures with T-Ward. 
Him and T-Word was very close too before Vaughn. You know? And I feel like maybe he feel like Vaughn put a battery in Troy back. Who knows? Maybe he was mad about the chain. But the way he stood there and waited till Vaughn died, he stood there literally. He just stood there and waited. He wasn't scared to go over with the shooter, was that? Was he? As if he know wasn't nothing gonna happen to him. And they said that's the DJ with the with the coat on. I feel him if he heard all the gunshots, somebody roll by shooting. He probably was scared. I get that shit. But the movement from the guy with the black is not right. Now everybody else movement, how they were scattered, because I'm telling you that car roll, that truck rolled by shot at them. They were that was a draw by. Now, I get their movement while they was doing that. I would have ran, too. I would have been hauling ass. My life means everything. Boy, I'm out of here. Pew. I'm running to where the gun's at, at least. Or back in the building as they did. I get that. But that guy with that black, when he ran back to that truck, how that, how that, how that blogger say, flag on the play. Flag on the play. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking real flag on the plate right there, man. And then for him to be the one arguing about those old block chains that don't nobody even really reconcile. But look it up. It's a, it happened. Y'all even seen my other video where I showed what King Vaughn answered, but they was arguing about who didn't get the old block chains. Even when that dude was sitting up there and King Vaughn gave C thing the money, did y'all see how his face looked at? He's supposed to have been the boss. Somebody told me, they said, listen, bro. That money was not for no hate. That sounds stupid. I believe that. I believe it was, for, it was for other things. But don't ever believe that King Von made that from an album that hasn't... That album ain't even had been released yet. Because Von's album release party was just before he died. He didn't have an album out. He didn't have an album out. So for anybody that want to say and say, Oh, they gave him a, a, a 100000 for his first album. How? He didn't even have an album. They just gave him that money to split up with those dudes. Because y'all got to remember one thing about FBG Duck Case. Yeah, it was two cars. It was four shooters. It was two drivers. That's six people. Now think about this here. What if it was another people, some other people involved who helped them carjack the car? You never know who all was involved in the play to say, well, he he could, they said it was only four shooters. No, it was six people. It was four people who jumped out and two people were still driving the cars that they was awaiting. You dig? Two people jumped out of each car. That's four. And then it was two drivers. That's six. How do we know who all plotted? Who, how do we know who went and got the info to say, hey, we're going to do the back door? It's a lot going on with this case. It's a lot going to always go on with this case because you got so many people. And then you got certain bloggers who been to, who been to fraud y'all, man. They've been, they, they been putting y'all on a wild goose chase on purpose because of old block go down. Some of their people goes down. I don't have any family that's going to go down when they go down. I don't want to see nobody go down for anything that they didn't do. It ain't even my job to try to get anybody to go down. That ain't what I'm doing. I'm just showing you that all these videos is out here. So it's public information. I'm just playing people old videos. I'm just commentating on them. That's all. I'm just commentating what I see. And from the incident in the back to the incident in the front, it don't make sense. And at least four or five people got hurt in the back. I'm not, at least two died and at least three, four other people got hurt in the back. Why would they say only two people died? Two victims ain't make it through. And then you had the car sitting there, you had cars sitting in the front watching King Von die and you had cars in the back placed right there as you see pulled right up and got a front, a, a, a for a, a good view of what was going on. They sat right there and literally watched them stab or whatever they was doing with their hand movement. I can't say they stabbed them because I'm only looking what my eyes see. So I don't know if they stabbed, but it looked like someone was stabbed. It looked like someone was beaten. It looked like someone was pulled out of the truck after they were shot. But we only heard about Vaughn and Slutty. Where was everybody else that was hurt? Tim was shot. Tim was, Tim was shot. 
So a lot of people got shot that night. So understand this here. When you engage in a battle and guns are drawn, I don't know if you ever been in a gunfight or been around when someone else is having a gunfight. It's a hostile, it's a hostile situation. You kind of you kind of think on instincts. Some people get scared to death. Some people take off running. Some people pull out their gun and start back busting. The ones who's trained for that. The ones who's been through that. Some people just never been through certain shit. Now, this is what bothers me. Like I said, we do with the black coat. Look, they all, they all, look, and he pointed at the truck like, peace, y'all. Now, whoever that was ran and put Vaughn in the car and ran back off, somebody said they know who that is. Cool. I don't even want to know who he is. Only thing I know is he ran right back there in the back, and they finished that almost like the guy who was doing the uh, uh, uh to the guy on the ground that looked just like him. He was tall. He was light-skinned. He was big like that guy was. But whoever he was, he did help Vaughn get in that car. Which worries me. What happened to Vaughn in that car? Did something happen to Vaughn in that car? Because the mission was to kill them that night. As you see from the other video. Go back and look at the beginning. That video said that that is the footage from King Vaughn shooting that night. I'm going to end it here. Because I ain't really trying to stir no pots. I just wanted to throw that out there. That all these people. Man, Listen. It was more than just some little dirt, man. That, I seen at least 15, 20 dudes back here all working together to get certain people. And I seen several dudes on the ground getting stabbed, getting beat, getting drugged, getting like like four people holding a body and throwing it to the side type shit. Why the fuck ain't we hear about none of that? Until we do, I'm going to fall back and mind my business a little bit because this is now... I'm seeing what it is. This was a either this was a movie scene. Cause I can't ever see the police sitting back allowing all this to happen. But the police was sitting there. If you ever seen a movie scene, the police sit at the end of the block where you never really see him, but he makes sure traffic don't come that way while they shooting the scenes. That's all this shit seemed like. This is how I feel like I got my love attached to him. And I was and it wasn't never about no money. Yeah, man. I'm going to leave it here, y'all. This is your boy, Costa Dom. I'm going to sign out to all my subs once again. Good looking, man. Thank y'all. For, for all the haters. For all the haters. Keep hating, baby. That's what I guess. That's your job. That's what you're here to do. And without you, there will probably be no me. You know? Without you, there will probably be no me. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Without haters, there will be no me because y'all make me strive harder. To all the people like Dear Your Vet, Baby Law, Spill the Tea, Spazilla, Marco Vasquez. Um, I know I'm missing mad names. Sunshine. Um, Libra Libra. Everybody who rock with me, man. Y'all know who y'all is. For all the people who I forgot. Leave a comment down and say, hey, you forgot me. And I shout shout y'all out because it's, it's the number love over here. Check out these videos, man. Tomorrow not promised to nobody. So, you know, I'm going to do what I do and leave a legacy. To all my people who been rocking with me once again, thank you so much. I'm going to end it right there. Peace. Like we always do at this time. I told y'all. Oh, I'll be back. Oh, I'll be back. I'll be back like Arnold Schwarzenegger said in his movies. Got a copyright disclaimer, because today, let me educate y'all on something, man. I did a video the other day about um, Bezu. And technically speaking, a lot of people ain't kind of understand where I was going at with that video. And it was like, this dude is tripping. But, but, let me explain to you that no other blogger 
all these people who cracked cases and did all this stuff, but they never, ever, ever, ever once explained something. What they never, ever once explained to you, ever, did they ever explain to you in the King Von and Little Dirk shooting in Atlanta, it was four people involved in that case. It was four co-defenders. It was Little Dirk, King Von, two other people. Would y'all ever guess who those two people was? Let me show you, because I don't want you to believe what I say. Don't believe what I say. Don't ever, 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 ever watch my my channel and believe what I say. So let me show you who the other people was. See, right, what y'all ain't never understand is what was so suspicious about the case and how King Von just died. During the probable cause hearing for the recent Atlanta case, we learned that it's a third and a fourth co-defendant, Devash Collier, OTF Bezu and Amir Golston, AAB Hellabans. Did y'all know that? And could I explain something to y'all what's really, really, really messed up about this case? The guy AAA Hellabans, listen to this here. Notice that after King Von's arrest, Bezu was facing extraditions from Illinois as well. The difference in Devosh is being held at a federal institution, unlike his co-defendants. Sadly, Hellabans of Chicago was murdered in Miami on May 2019 before he could ever face charges. Call me a liar. Please call me a liar. This facts check. This is all facts check. Please call me a liar. Let's go. Call me a liar. Let's go. Now, Bezu was eventually, eventually released from lockup, but is still away in trial, along with his co-defendants. So let me explain one more thing to you. This is why I was trying to tell you. They had Bezu chilling King Von because the same thing happened to Hella Bass. That dude Sinbad did knew they was going to do the same thing to him. Now, guess what? Guess what? The only two people left... It's Dirk and, and now him right there. Now ask yourself, anybody else that got killed? It was four people involved in this case and nobody never said nothing to us. This is my video too, so you know what? I'm going to get greasy and play a little bit of it because I'm going to commentate my video today. Right. Look so, at the look on his face. He's not there to support Vaughn. He's not there to back Vaughn. He's just there listening to the conversation. And it looks like Vaughn know it's only select things I should be saying and could be saying. So now, when I try to tell y'all that's why he was uncomfortable around this dude, let me show you why. So when I tried to say he was the cleanup man and people was like, LOL, that's funny you say he's the cleanup man. Why not call him that? Because look, that's the other guy. These are the other two, the other two co-defenders that was with King Vaughn. And this guy was there robbing that guy too and shot him and so was he with the dreads. But this one over here with the dreads? He's dead. Just like King Vaughn. He's dead. Amir is dead. And and him and King Vaughn kinda of put you in the mind of each other. He was handsome fellas. These old ugly ass niggas wanted them dead. Because they were so scared what was gonna happen with this case that is still going on. But let me explain something. Investigators say that Vaughn was standing outside when a vehicle pulled up and opened fire. And was eventually got was shot. Suspect was shot. Devon was the only one that was ever arrested for the murder. Eventually, all murder charges was dropped against him. Devon Collins became a free man. So understand, young people. And for the person who tried to tell me that the guy that they shot is dead, no, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. That's him right there. He almost died. How y'all niggas let a brutal ass nigga get y'all off the streets, man? This nigga softer than tissue. I hate y'all. But that guy got them off the streets and he's finna get them off the streets. They say he's softer than tissue, but he got money. He's doing his thing. And they tried to rob him for $30,000. Four people. Four people. And for the record, this is the guy that they shot. And, and I remind you, 
Wasn't Chief Keith from 300? Who, who else was from the 300 block? Who else is from 300? Because that's the guy with the spoon right there that they're shot. He sped away with a large... He sped away in a vehicle with a large 300 on the side of it. The entire incident was also recorded by multiple nearby surveillance cameras. But I remind you... Now, remember I was showing y'all about Bezu? He was sitting up in Dirk house. He went to jail. When he got out, he was indebted to Dirk, right? Look, in May... King Vaughn was arrested in Cook County Jail, held without bond faces, motor, blah, 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 attempted murder, firearm, gang association charges. King Vaughn was only released from jail half a year ago, facing murder charges without bond for three to five years upon his release. He signed, he signed to Dirk's label, OTF, and began a rap career. So understand, he was signed to Dirk's label, which, it all puts it all together. Little Dirk, Little Bootsy, um, who else? Check out many other artists that come from Empire Records, because now, now as y'all learn, Little Dirk had ties to King Von too. And, I mean, King Von was signed to his label, it's right here, right here in writing. You want to see it again? Look. Take your time, look. But one more thing they didn't tell us. All oh, they saw Did anybody ever notice here? So understand, y'all. There was a third and fourth co-defendant in the King Von trial that's going on right now that nobody is even talking about. So far, though, out of the four people, only two of them is alive. OTF Bezu and Little Duck. A.A.B. Hellebez is dead. Go look it up, y'all. He's dead. King Vaughn, dead. The guy, he was from the 300 block. He was from Chicago, too. <coughs> Understand this. During the probable cause hearing for the recent Atlanta case, we learned that it's a third and fourth co-defendant. Deshaun Collier, OTL Bezu, and Amir Ghostin, A.A.B. Hellebaz. Devon Collier, there, there was a Devon, which his name is almost like Devon. Devon, Devon, Devon Collier, also known as Bezu, is also an Atlanta-based artist. OTF artist originally from Chicago. So he lives out there in Atlanta. And y'all don't think that he was there when King Von got shot? Open your eyes. It's right here in front of you. It's right there in front of you. I'm just playing with y'all when I did my voice like that. Because I look up to King to, to King Von, so I try to do little things that sound like him. Here, there, here, there. But anyway, they didn't tell you that, did they? He was also an Atlanta-based OTF artist from Chicago that also was King Von's co-defendant. Now, peep game about him. Notice that at the King Von arrest, Bezu, fans on the Chicago, noticed that at the King Von's arrest, Bezu was facing extradition charges for Illinois as well. So... When King Vaughn got arrested, some type of way some charges popped up in Chicago for Bezu as well. The difference is that Devonch is being held in a federal institution unlike his co-defendants. Sadly, Hella Bans was murdered. So now everybody, we know who, now I'm going to tell y'all who Bezu is. Now I'm finna tell y'all who Bezu is. Bezu ain't nothing but a federal agent, just like Dirk is a police. King Von, y'all was set up by the police and a goddamn on FBI agents that's acting like he a rapper that calls himself, you guessed it, OTF Bezu. You've been exposed, bro. Now, everybody, if they try to do something to me, y'all know. They mad about this video. Y'all peep, y'all heard it first. We got, we, we, we scrap, we ready. But, peep game when I'm telling y'all again. Did y'all ever notice here? Did y'all know, did y'all know that uh, right after they caught that case in 2019? Before they could, when they found out that they knew about Hella Bands and, 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 and 
OTF Bezu, they turned around and they killed hella bad. So we'll never hear his story. He could never tell on Dirk. Dirk is, and they got Dirk on camera busting the gun. They got Dirk on camera busting the gun. They got Dirk on camera busting the gun. Bezu was eventually released from lockup, but it is still awaiting trial with all his co defendants. Did y'all know that? Did y'all know that? Okay. Yeah, I don't think you did. Did y'all know that? Did y'all know that 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 was the next co-defendant in the King Vaughn's case that's sitting over here with the um, that's sitting on top of the car with the long dress, rare guy. Did y'all know? And uh, look at look at officer, look at officer Bezu over here. Don't he even look like an old police. You even look like the cop that beat me up when I was young. I'm scared of you, boy. Every time I see your face, you scare me, boy. Boy, I, I, I load it up and be waiting. I'll I peek out the window all night. Every time I look at your face, i peek out the window all night with it loaded up. Wait for you! <laughs> nah, I'm playing. Well, listen. What's the real shit? Did y'all know this? Who told you this first? That's right. You guessed it. The Don. I don't got much more to say. I just wanted to really get y'all clearly to understand. My videos ain't no joke. So all y'all said, you're reaching. You go ahead and reach on this here and ask yourself, why after all this time, y'all never knew that it was four people involved in that case, did you? Along with Dirk and Vaughn. These two was too. Now we got two more left. Will Officer Bezu end up there too? I mean, Bezu end up there too? Or will him and King Vaughn just, I mean, him and Officer Dirk just go ahead and now the case is going to be beat by these two cops because they did all they had to do. And I can guarantee you, this guy hella bands. He probably was putting in mad work in Chicago. If y'all know who Hella Bands is and you from Chicago, could you please put some information down there for me on who he is? Because I don't know him and I don't know the other guy. I don't know none of these people. I'm just reading. And when I'm reading, it boggles me. Why can't y'all see this? Did y'all ever know it was four people? But anyway. Costa Dom, 1,000. I'm out. Like we always do at this time. What up, y'all? Yeah, man. Another tragedy not struck. Lil Dirk's brother D thing shot and killed outside of a Chicago nightclub. Do you think that it's not fishy that everybody is dying at clubs? King Vaughn, Hella Bay, uh, Hella Bands, not him. Everybody is getting shot outside of a club. In Chicago. So do that means because I always thought that Lil Dirk and was detailed with security because of Lightfoot. Because that's how that goes. Her family is detailed with security. She can pick out whoever she wants to get security. I'm sure he's one of them. So you mean to tell me d thing ain't one of them who was detailed with security, just Dirk? No. Now let me explain to y'all what's funny about this beef, I mean about this situation. Dirk made us a, a song and... Just like when he said, just like that shit when he said, they asked me how I get, I point, point to that, I get high as duck. Bruh, you got to stop disrespecting the dead. Every time you done it, somebody close to you die. Now, either one of the two things, either you're knocking your own people off for fame or the better side. People is knocking your mans off because of what you keep saying. You're antagonizing beef and you're secure. They're not. You're the only one secure. They're not. Vaughn, everybody getting hit because of what's coming out your mouth. They asked me how I get, I told them I get high as duck. Don't you understand, Lil Durk, that the last person that dissed FBG Duck was a comedian that's dead now? It was a comedian distem, may it be the ghost of FBG Duck. Because first of all, you should never, ever, ever bring up the dad's name unless you're giving them a compliment while they're sitting right there watching you, bro. They're sitting right there watching you, man, believe it or not. So why are you saying, oh, I, I get high as duck? This man swinging at you. So you be feeling this, this weird wind? You feel like the hair is jumping on your arm? That's because these people is trying to hit you, bro. They trying to swing on you. They trying to fight you. They want they want revenge from you. Do that sound weird? Because people don't think that this type of stuff is real. But okay, I'm going to leave that alone because I don't want to lose anybody 
in the conversation. But let me explain something. Now, apparently, apparently, Lil Dirk disses FBG Duck. Anyway, I'm going to read this post to you. Chicago rapper who recently posted his DMs with Lil Dirk after being offended by a line which people think is an FBG Duck diss on a song from Dirk and Lil Baby, new album. He dissed him and he dissed Vaughn. So some type of way, Duck and Vaughn was connected in real life that people don't know about. That's why that's why Duck was so mad at Vaughn, because Vaughn still was cool with Duck. And like Duck said, I want to smack the shit out of that little nigga because he know better. Because like he said, you used to look up to us, bro. You used to hang over this way. You know. It's the real. That's all alleged. I'm not sure now. But listen. The last person, I'm going to say this again. The last person that this FBG duck. He's dead too now. You get where I'm going with it? He's dead too. He's dead. Gone. So now. Dirt keep on antagonizing this other side of the game, which is artists just got the thing and said, you know, the beef between the GDs and the D and, and the, the BDs and the GDs are dead. We, we're calling the truce. I feel like that's not true. As long as little Dirk, little Dirk still run around and point at his hat and say, they asked me how I, how, how I get, I told him how is duck. And that man, mother, said, hey, I have to watch you disrespect her son, bro. I'm going to keep saying this repeatedly because I see that you tied a new ski, new, new, your cousin, in a tattoo. And on that tattoo, you said, stop the violence. Well, let me explain something to you, Dirk. In order to stop this violence, you got to stop, stop talking about dead people's relatives. I have a young man that was on my page who left me a message and, and, and I, yo, young brother, you know exactly who I'm talking about from Chicago. I respect you so much for how you came at me and you explained. See, I'll be trying to get Chicago dudes to talk to me, tell me, because I don't live there. So I, I don't know. I'm just going about re-reading. And what we're reading is it, it, it's not, it don't look good. So he got on here and he explained to me, he said, look, bro, it's like this. My cousin got, got shot. Niggas shot him in the head nine, ten times. We got to, he didn't have a fucking half a head. He had a half a head. He said, then, the dudes who did this shit, they wouldn't show their face. They never knew who did it. They just had a video of them pissing on his grave, which made them want to go out and get revenge, hurt the other side. Which, think about this. Why wouldn't it make you want to hurt somebody? Why wouldn't that piss you off somebody disrespecting your dead relatives? So you, you think, Dirk, of that man saying that, look at my post, bro. You can look at my post. It's right on my post. I left it there. I talked to the young brother like I told him. I respect what he said, and I love the way he came at me because he never disrespected me. He never said nothing ill. He got his point across like a gentleman. That man got his point across to me. And when, when I'm reading, I'm like, I can't even say nothing bad to him. I can't even disrespect him. I just wanted to talk to him and kind of mentor him in a conversation. And that's what I did. I just told him, like, you know, let God handle that. You be the positive light to say, let's stop the violence. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Put your cousin up. Keep your cousin's memory alive and things of that nature. Because, okay, somebody killed my homeboy, Mo. If I would have heard somebody, Maurice DeBose, rest in peace, Newton, New Jersey, Camden Street. i never forget you, homeboy. I love you to death too, Mo. Bro, never forget you, boy. Maurice DeBose, Camden Street, Newton, New Jersey. Um, his stomping grounds was Fairmont and South Orange Drive, right in front of the liquor store. He got killed right across the street at the Harmony House. You know, well, the best thing I did, I went through a post-traumatic stress at that time. Ain't nothing in my life went right. But you know what I ended up doing? I packed up and I just left one day. I left Newton, New Jersey. That's how I ended up leaving my hometown. I left Newton, New Jersey one day. I just packed my bags. I had a warmth. I packed my shit in my hard desk and went to Florida. When I got to Florida, I was down there so long, I, I forgot everything that was going on in Newark. I forgot everything. And it just took me into a whole nother light of living. And I'm living. I'm still living. Right now, I'm still living. I'm here to tell you this. There's so many young dudes in Chicago got interesting stories that we never, ever get to hear because they're dead. King Von had a whole movie, maybe a six, seven-part movie, he could have made out his life 
and what and how his life changed around the goods, the bads, the highs, the lows, the ups, the downs. But anyway, long story short, when little Dirk Dis Ruger's cousin then got on the thing, I guess it argued back and forth with him. It's a rap. So now, I'm going to tell you again, Durkio, and anybody that's affiliated with OTF or affiliated with Durkio, try to put a bug in his ear. Let's stop the diss records because they're not killing you. They're killing everybody around you to hurt you, I feel. So everybody saying, oh, Dirk sacrificing. Nah, they sacrificing Dirk. They're making Dirk live in pain. I'm getting what's going on. I, I swear to God, I'm clearly seeing what's happening now. So as long as, like he said, you hit my side, we're going to hit your side. It's going to go back and forth back and forth and it's never gonna stop who's gonna have the kahunas to say let's stop we need peace we need our kids to live we need our kids to know who their dads are you know what i mean kids in chicago Newark, new jersey washington philly pa everything ohio detroit texas got kids that they dads is dead. They don't know who they 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 only know they only see pictures of their father and only got memories of their dad. Well here we have it again. Here we have it again. One more word to you, Dirk. For real. And this came to me in the dream. Like I said, I only dream about shit. I'm not good as God and them. God and them got the gift. See, they got their gift intact. I don't have that. I don't know nothing about it. But Get rid of that V-Roy chain, bro. Toss it. Scrap it. Don't wear that no more. Because you know why? Somebody is very mad at you that's not here that you wear that chain, bro. I'm just, I'm just, don't, don't, don't take me for what I'm saying. Take it as bullshit. Just remember what I just said, bro. Get rid of that V-Roy chain that you wear around your neck. Them hats that got V-Roy on it. Lose that slogan, bro. It's going to bring so much death and pain to you. As long as you wear it, every video that you wear, you're going to lose somebody. Remember what I'm saying? And this ain't me saying this. This somebody told me this in a dream. I couldn't even see who it was told me this. He said, every time you wear that chain, somebody going to die. Watch this here. Every time you wear that V-Roy chain, because that's disrespectful. I couldn't see who it was. I couldn't tell if it was a girl voice or a man voice. I just heard a voice. And I'm telling you, bro. That v Roy chain, mm -mm. toss it. Whoever made it for you, they made you some shit that's going to get everybody around you killed, bro. And I'm telling you again, would you? I don't know what side. I don't know how Chicago is set up. I don't know if the guy that 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 that's supposed to have been King Von's twin. I don't know if he was what side he was from. If he was right from Lamb Von Old Block, but however that met, however that went. But his side is secretly mad every time they see you with that v roy chain on. Whoever he know, and most of the people that was real, real close to Dirk, they get mad at you, but they're not telling you this, bro. They're not telling you this. I'm going to tell you. Toss the chain, bro. Toss the chain. For real, toss the chain. I ain't going to say no more. I'm going to leave it as this. Y'all heard it. D-Thing, I just seen D-Thing on a video. I'm trying to think of what he was doing. Was he arguing with somebody? I think, let's go see. Rest in peace, young fella, man. I'm going to leave it right here. Dirt, keep your head up, bro. I know losing a brother is hard, hard, hard. I get at your ass a lot. But right now, the y'all... I know people gonna be like, he sacrificed this brother, man. Stop that, man. This shit is a real war. These boys need peace from where they at. Because, like, like they said, right around the corner from where Lamron at is the dudes he beefing with. And once again, Dirk, stop the dissing and the music. The best thing you could have did, Dirk, was got with Mama Duck, apologized stuff for everything, and that's where some peace would have started. I swear to God, a Mama Duck voice says a lot. People don't believe that. Mama Duck holds FBG Duck spot, and she's gangster enough to do it. So if you would have went to Mama Duck Duck, see, you know what? This is just me thinking too proudly. But if it was me, I'd have went to her like, yo, Mom, yo, Miss Duck, I'm so sorry what happened to your son. 
we need to stop this dumb junk. Enough is enough. And I could guarantee she didn't respect you more than what you ever just did after that man died. They asked me how I get, I told him I get high as dumb. That shit not cool, brother. And then you point that Vaughn name as if you put money on that hat by Vaughn's name as if you put money on Vaughn's head. That's where that could have been taken as. Bro, you got to stop with the subliminal messages because nowadays on YouTube, you got people like me. I sit back and analyze everything, bro. And I don't want to do that to you because you're a black young man or lady. I don't know what you are, but whatever you are, I respect you. And I want to see you climb and elevate without killing, getting people killed. I ain't going to say you killing anybody because just like with King Vaughn, y'all, I mean, we seen what happened, but that still was a setup. I don't care what nobody said. That was all a setup. Now, I'm not going to go back on that. And you know what? I don't think it was about a sacrifice. I think it was more of a payback for what happened to somebody in Atlanta and Hitton Village. I never forget that case. Hitton Village. Go check it out. Go check out the, the, the shooting in Hitton Village in southwest Atlanta. Check it out. And I feel like that had a lot to do with Vaughn's death. Nobody speaks about that but me. I'm the only one person who told you that. So when y'all go check that out, understand one thing. On that interview when the guy was saying, would you make songs with so-and-so? He named the guy from Southwest Atlanta that I'm telling you about that got murdered. He asked him Tyreek. He asked him when he do a song with Tyreek. Tyreek was murdered in Southwest Atlanta. I feel like he was the setup guy who set up the, the robbery that went wrong, but he still wanted his money. Because he set it up, they just dropped the ball on it. And when he didn't get paid, I guess he said the wrong things and King, allegedly King Von went there and did what he did to him. That's why in that interview they asked him when he do songs with this person, that person, they brought up Tyreek. Go look up Tyreek and hitting and hitting village in Atlanta, the killing down there. It's only one killer happening in Hitting Village. You can look it up. You can look it up. But now it's like this stuff is trickling down, man. These are hits. To me, these are professional hits. Like they say, when they go after you, they, they take out your whole family, bro. They not took out this mad damn the whole family. His friends. Now they're not they hitting his family because look, his brother. Lose that V-Roy chain. Lose that whole concept. Everybody know what that is, bro. Stop. You're not being slick with that. So I'm telling you now, lose that. Scrap that. Do a video of you burning that chain. That's how you can get some of your, some of your people back. Do a video of you burning that chain. I'm trying to find my lighter. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to leave it here. Another one of Dirk's people, his brother, OTF. I guess he was, o I'm sure he was OTF. He got a new ski chain on. So that's that's Dirk chain he got on. They look alike. They look a lot alike, too. And i seen the pictures of him, the father, and everybody. So this is, I guess, his older brother. Sad shit, bro. Sad shit. Another one bites the dust. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, y'all, bro. That's all I can say right now. Rest in peace, d thing. Rest in peace. Um, if y'all know what I'm talking about, go look at the story about the Hitting Village killing. And you'll see what I'm talking about, about what happened with Vaughn and why they brought up Vaughn's name on that interview when he was on the um, channel and they was interviewing him and they asked him he do a song and all the people they named was dead people. You got to remember, that was Dirk on the phone doing that and asking him that, being funny. That was Dirk on the phone telling him, you're going to be right with them making songs. And look, voila, King Von is with all those people, even Tyreek. He's with all of them for real. Just like they, that interview was kind of pre-saying that Von was going to die. But we didn't catch that at the time. Now we do. It is what it is, y'all. Peace. Oh, yeah, I'm like you always do at this time. Y'all know who I am. Costa Don. I'm back. Another one. You know. Hope y'all liked the one from earlier today. Hmm. Shit is strange these days. You got this here chick. Go make y'all some money. Go make some money. Like, y'all so mad. Fucked up with y'all did to me, y'all, man. She gave these missing hard drives that we've been talking about for a while now.
to this dude. And if he's the voice. That man, DD, he the threat. Who chain is that? The Cuban link she was telling you about. Who Cuban link? Why you think that they ended back up with his Cuban link? And then she tried to lie. I guess what, that's all I want to do is talk. Book y'all flights to Atlanta. And then cook. If y'all book y'all flights to Atlanta, I don't think you'll make it back out. But you really think y'all would have made it out of Atlanta? Listen to her. I'm playing this slow so she yeah, won't be able to live out here. Come, come out here to her house. I don't know where she live at. Don't go out there. Don't listen to her. This is sad. Kicks. Bella, a motherfucking mascot. Missy, a sad kick. Thing one and thing two. That's what I call them. <coughs> Hold up. Let me stop playing with this old. <laughs> She's like a dope fan, don't she? She's like a little dope fan. We got to put this out here. Because I left with a bag full of money. I bet you did. I'm touched. I bet you did, because you still with the I knew y'all could come around on this internet shit. And you know what? And that's that. Y'all ain't have all this energy when I was in Chicago. But yeah, I'm done talking, for real, for real. Check I'll make y'all some money. Go be blessed. Bye. Now, let me explain something to y'all again. She stole those hard drives, right? This is where 21 Savage comes in. Remember 21 Savage said he had music with King Von that he ain't really touch up. He said, he, but he did have music with Von. Now, her on the other hand, she sold it to Dirk. Dirk paid her. That's why 21 Savage gave her the truck because he retrieved his music off the hard drives that she sold to Dirk because Dirk sold it to 21 Savage. Did some songs with 21 Savage to clear the... Matter of fact, let's go to their song. No I forgot about that. Yeah. Now, I understand in this song, if I got to, in this song here, this was kind of some more payback. He gave 21 Savage after 21 Savage probably purchased the songs back that they killed King Von for. I'm quite sure now they killed, allegedly they killed King Von, but I'm quite sure that it was more sinister than what we thinking right now, because you know why? We don't think that these dudes would do some of the stuff that they do. Like they don't think that we do some of the stuff that we do. They let off so many motherfucking shots, the neighbors said it sound like a blah, 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 blah. Now, I slowed that record down so they won't be trying to copyright me to death and y'all can get to enjoy this video. And I can get to do what I do a little bit better here. Because they don't know. <sighs> the Lonely Podcast, dude. It's just sitting here lonely watching videos. Smoking my weed like we do in New York State is legal, you know. Beautiful thing, man. Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. But now, let's get into it. Pay him back, I guess, with this song. He don't like me a lot, so. That's what I'm gonna do to you, Bruce. I want you to see what I do to you. Cause y'all 
I did not miss not one shot. I heard that night. All four of them hit him just the perfect as you saying in this song. Hit him just as perfect. So you know, second second person Dirk did business with that had ties to Von Dyer that night. Can we forget these two? Now, let me explain something to y'all. And, and this is one more thing that y'all got to remember about me and who I am. Could you see me? Because I know I'm kind of half fast on here. But what you got to remember about me, this guy right here, me, I'm going to try to make sure you see me. This guy right here, let me explain something to y'all. I listen to every fucking thing. And they tried to say when he said that, I'm going to let you hear this in slow motion because I want you to really hear what he said. They tried to say that he was talking about Mubu Crump. If anybody know Mubu Crump, Mubu Crump was not a little at all. Mubu Crump was big. He was a big guy. Mubu Crump never really dissed his cousin, Mubu Crump did. But yes, he did. I'm lying. That's Mubu Crump did. Yes, he did. I'm sorry. I apologize for that child lie. He did diss his cousin. But that ain't who he was talking about. Listen, I'm going to show something. First of all, Mubu Crump did not die inside of a club. Fine did. Second of all, Mubu Crump was not little at all. He was big as fuck. He was a tall, big guy. And they hit Vaughn in the back, and that's why he said they fucked up his nerve. That's why his legs was like that, because his nerves was messed up. This guy, it's like he knew all this was going to happen already. Like, he's a fucking reaper. They said that little Reese is Chicago Grand Reaper. I'm sorry, little Reese. Little Dirk took your title. <clears throat> Lulu Dirk is Chicago's Grim Reaper. Believe that. Now, you hear how he said he was dissing his cousin, now he's back in the world, huh? Now, let me explain something to you about Mubu Crump, where everybody think that he was talking about. He wasn't. He was talking about King Vaughn. Mubu Crump never ever hung out with OTF members to tell OTF members anything about Dirk. Now listen to this. Check this out. He said that I'm icy for real, but he stole a, they stole that four hundred thousand dollar chain off of Vaughn's neck. Now, I'm about to keep trying to tell y'all. I told y'all about Kayla, right? The moment I told all about Kayla, I'm about to tell all about Asian doll too, right? Just like just guy like Hagen said all this too. Now y'all may explain something to y'all. Listen to what she said in, in the song with the people who they gave. King Von Music 2 and the people who said they shot him. And she posted Von up. She said, I might post the nigga up. She posted Von up. And then she did tell bitches, come get it back in blood, basically. So Vaughn called her his little thug, right? But this is a bitch on the records with his ops. I'm going to show you why. Who you think 
think she's fucking talking about. But everybody think I'm tripping. I don't respect her. I, I would never listen to her music. As they say in Chicago, she's a fucking goofy ass motherfucker. Sorry for my language. She's a goofy ass person to me. So I never really listened to her. So me can't trick me from that love. niggas cut that stuff. bitches laugh and shot and got no cabbage. So when Kim and them want to think that Asian doll and his cousin want to think that Asian doll is cool with them, don't believe the hype. Don't, don't. These, these is your homeboy she got that she set him up with. Look, look at them all. Look at them all. Check this out. Because I'm going to stop this at the right time. I want y'all to see what I'm trying to tell y'all. Cash cover me like a quilt. Now, remember what I'm telling y'all about 21 Savage? Ooh, see. Gucci, man. Might as well have a little Boosie in trouble while I'm standing here. Have the celebration. Have the freaking King Var Death celebration. And Kayla, you don't understand this picture, do you? Do y'all understand this picture? Do y'all see what I'm trying to tell y'all about 21 Savage? Go back to London, bruh. And all y'all want to follow this old London ass dude around town. Say, he got goons. Nobody give a fuck, boy. You got goons too. So what? Just fuck out of here. These dudes right here, all three of them has had a hand in King Von's. Allegedly. Allegedly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said that wrong. I said that wrong. All three of these dudes allegedly had something to do. Because I, I want to use that word freely. Allegedly. Has something to do with King Von. Death. Every day was there. 21 Savage. It happened at his uncle's club, which his uncle was the one documented the footage for us. Pooh was in the car with Dirk. Asian Doll, that's her record label. The person who, that she was on the label, but all of a sudden she's not on the label, but she still do music with all of them. I could show you. They showed you a song with her and them too. Y'all want to see more, don't y'all? I ain't got to show you, sorry. I'm just playing. But listen, on some real shit, do y'all homework. Stay woke. These people are shysty. They did Von dirty. These three dudes right here, along with a little blonde head dude and a little short dude. Flavor, Flav, look alike. Flavor, Flav, look alike. You know what I mean? Anyway, just stay old people. The Matrix is real. Did y'all ever know that all these people hang around each other? So everybody hung around each other that has that that suspectly has something to do, allegedly has something to do with Vaughn's death. But none of them hung with Vaughn. Show me some pictures with Vaughn hanging with them like that. <coughs> How many cars was it? They pulled up in all kinds of trucks and then gave one to Caleb. Caleb B, if you needed something that bad, we could have started you a GoFund page me page on here. If you need money that bad. I feel like at the end of the day, any funds that went to King Vaughn should have been distributed between his kids and the trust fund, his baby mother, so they could take care of his kids while he's no longer here to support for his kids. They deserve, they deserve help. I don't care what nobody said. They didn't lay down and have those kids by themselves. If he had any legacy about him, 
excuse me, people, I can't be letting that be saying. If that man have any legacy about him, it's supposed to go to his kids and his mother's supposed to be taken care of the way he was taking care of his mother. Kayla B, once again, you are last on the totem pole. You're the last person should have ever got anything but the kid that you probably allegedly had from him. That's all you deserved. But you is a baby mama too, allegedly. So maybe you deserve some too. But don't be greedy and take everything from that man and his baby mother and say, ah, that's why y'all gonna live a normal life. You should live a normal life too. I guarantee you that. You should live a normal life too. But you know, this is just me just talking, saying smoke. Anybody wanna come to this event that I'm having? Um, we having the Great American Smoke out here in New York, you know, because it's, it's legal to smoke here. It's very legal, recreational. So, you know, I'm not trying to tell people to do anything illegal. Come be legal, you know what I'm saying? Hang with the legal. But back to King Von's situation, we seen all we need to see here, I guess, you know? Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down there, and then over there, over here, the up there, wherever you want to do it. And y'all already know I'm answering everybody back. Don't disrespect me, because I'm going to just and keep it pushing and, and talk to the people who got some class about themselves. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a pleasure showing you this. I hope, I hope everybody give me a lot of likes, and I hope y'all do a lot of shares and show your friends this. All these dudes here set this dude up. Man. I can go deep into depths, but that's for another video. Peace. Like we always do at this time. What up, y'all? Yeah, like I said, this shit is so deep, it's ridiculous. Like, if you want to stop at King Von, that's cool. That's very cool. But the shit goes deeper than King Von and shit been going on before King Von died that people really need to look into. Like, how could you explain that down there, all these brothers on this picture, plus the cousin, is all dead? Then you got King Von, everybody he was close to. Slutty all of them, which is these guys, brothers, T Roy, HK. Moon will probably in here somewhere, the little cousin, the one that got killed. They might thought that was their, their brother at one point, but that was just the cousin. But what's sad is, Mobile I told y'all, yo, I ain't, I'm like this. I just watch clips and I could tell you from the vibes what it is. It's how I survived in the street so long. I move by vibes. The vibe ain't right, I'm out of there. I don't give a fuck how a motherfucker feel me. Be like, yo, he tweaking. Call later, they be like, yo, you know, wow, shit happened, nigga. The vibes was off. I told you, that's why I got the fuck on. Now, when I say the vibes, to think about how old block is set up, right? Anybody is not just walking through that. Then on Sharad Day, right? On Sharad Day, which if you add it all up, Sharad brother has some shit to do, allegedly with FBG Brick getting killed. No? Now, you don't think that it's odd that they would come on Sherrod Day, on Sherrod Day, and kill HK? Like, whoever be sitting around thinking of how they gonna do these killings, they very fucking calculated and they sick. They pick these special days to kill these guys on. Like, I was trying to tell people about King Von murder day. Know why King Von murder day was picked on the day that it was picked on? If you go back and you, I'm rolling a blunt, I'm sorry, y'all. If you go back and you look, right? Boss Trail. When they killed Boss Trail, Boss Trail was set to leave Chicago on November the 6th. He died on November the 4th. But I feel like since his special day, the day that they know he was looking forward to was the 6th, that's the day they sent King Von off. People don't catch on to it, though. It seems weird, and it sounds weird, and it sounds dumb. But if you think about every day, you sit back and you say, hold up. 
every name that come up, you go back and you study the person and what happened to the person. You be like, wow. Now, I'm going to say this again. King Von, November the 6th day was picked upon. Watch, let me show y'all. Now I remind you See this is why Kayla B is so fucking wrong In so many different ways Cause I feel like She set King Von up For his failure Because check this out Boss Trail And Kayla B Got into it And then As you see With, with Boss Trail Telling Kayla B Yo ass not FBG You wig city So at this time And he was like F-O-D At this time Kayla B was claiming FBG right here. So when Mama Duck tried to tell us that, she was like, girl, don't make me call you out. Nah, you ain't got to, Mama Duck, because I'm going to go ahead and put the bitch on out there. She was FBG. And I'm j it makes you even think, was King Von some kin to them in real life? Was King Von, was King Von sent to Old Block to try to infiltrate them the same way Dirk was sat there to infiltrate everybody. And everybody had something to do with his cousin's death and Bezu cousin's death. They was knocking them off, acting like they was their friends. I'm gonna give you a record deal. I'm gonna give you a record deal. But the whole plan was to kill him. We gotta kill this nigga and keep it pushing. Now, think about this. Kayla B was really FBG. Who all knew this? I never knew that she was FBG, but I did know she was from FBG because I seen her with the FBG saying, fuck O Block. You understand what I'm saying? Like, make it make sense. Please, somebody make it make sense. And then furthermore, you could basically say that this is why King Von name came up in Boss Trail's killer. You understand what I'm saying? Caleb B was arguing with him. About from FBG. That's a song, Goofy. So, you're... Too mad, I see. Now, this is her going back and forth with Boss Trail, right? Where is you from? Because not STL or Jarvo City. You must be from Crazyville. Stop playing, say, because niggas know about me and you get in. Go ask around somewhere. You ain't even with the shit. With the shits. This is what Boss Trail telling Kayla B. In that same month, Boss Trell realized that he was at war with real killers. Not only was he shot at twice, two of his friends were killed back to back. Dell and P5 Crack were both killed only weeks apart. P5 Crack was a drug dealer like Boss Trell. That only made Boss Trell realize that he was an easy target due to him being a hustler. Now, I remind you, this is Boss Trow. Now, now, after Boss Trow died, after him and Caleb B got into a little argument, which I guess sucked King Von. And at the time, if I'm not mistaken, Caleb B was seeing T Roy, which got T Roy involved. If I'm not mistaken here, this is why T Roy got involved. In the beef, the op hate me and I don't care. They was teasing him after he after he got shot. This T boy. Man down. You ain't a boss to me. You understand what I'm saying? This King Von. This King Von. And no, and no. Look what day it is that King Von is saying this here. This three day, this is five days after he died. November the 9th, three days before King Von was killed. Makes sense, right? And, and I'm gonna show you what I'm trying to tell you about those dates. Hold up, we're gonna get into that. Fuck your niggas, die slow. Bitch. Niggas ain't dying on time, the struggle. No trail, stay alive. Free King Von. That is T-Boy. Because I heard that he died with this on his page still. 
to this day I heard that that's still on Spage, Free King Von, because he died while Von was in jail. Now, now check this out. Let me show y'all something. I feel like since he posted on November the 6th, can't wait to get my new star. That's the day they took King Von life because that's the day that he's supposed to have got. Well, it wasn't the day. It's the day I guess he purchased this ticket. And he's supposed to have left, I guess, on the 9th. He got killed on the 8th. Some shit like that. But the 6th, at 6.12 p.m., November the 6th, And I just feel like they picked November the 6th to kill Vaughn. And I feel like no matter what happened, they was going to get King Vaughn because of what happened to Boss Trail. From Boss Trail, it went from him to TB. Oh, it went from Boss Trail to t Roy to TB, to King Von, the end. Not the end, but you know, I guess that, it, cause like it's other people like Nemo, McAdoo 600. I feel like they still got an issue with those boys and they're waiting. I'm telling you, anybody who know that kid, McAdoo 600, let him know. Man, you better not sign the OTF, you better not fuck with them, you better stay the fuck away from old block, cause they gonna set you up the same way they set everybody else up right there on old block. And oh my god. Remember what I was saying in the other video, I was like who I felt like had the problem with Nemo six hundred, right? Now, when you go back and look who killed HK, they got it on a scanner who killed them. And guess what the description is? Now remember I said remember I said with the way that it was set up, they was mad because little Mister got killed, and it was mad because TB got killed, and probably mad that Boss Trail got killed. And I remind you, guess who wanted revenge for those killings? Taekwon Wong, which is Lori Lightfoot, allegedly. I'm not gonna put no no bad salt on her name, but allegedly I heard she's a member, an OG member of Taekwondo. Well, that's why you seen Lil Dirk chilling with her. Cause that was where the back door came in. Close that back door, nigga, skate on your homies. How how Lil Dirk gonna be rapping BDs and his dad is a GD? I just feel like he was there to infiltrate the, the BDs cause he was doing that for his dad. Cause his dad, when he left, they was beefing with the BDs. So how would Dirk end up being a BD and his dad is a GD? So now they taking pictures, you got a BD and a GD together. That's some old made up, you know what I'm saying, fake shit. But anyway, peak game. Now, Mobile said that Bar I feel like Bar Bezu was mad and Dirk is mad. Listen to the killer. The scanner said that the shooter had dreads. At the time, Lil Cho had very short dreads. For his hair to have been seen, we would have to assume that the trio went to O Block without a hoodie, a mask, or a hat. And that is very unlikely. Whereas someone with longer dreads, the hair could have been seen even with a hat on. Killing he would then get in the shootouts with rival gang members. And only at the age of 18, he was a suspect in a murder case. On July 5th, 2009, Chicago police were looking for several men responsible for fatally shooting a man in a Bronzeville neighborhood in the morning time. Dominic Barnes was shot multiple times at about 10.14 a.m. in the 4700 block of South Forest Avenue, according to the Chicago police. A police spokesman said two people walked up to Barnes and at least one of them opened fire on him. The suspects then fled from the scene in a vehicle. Dominic Barnes, 21 years of age, on a 600 block of East 51st Street. Now though that almost sound identical like the scene, how they walked up to this dude and shot him. Okay. Mask or a hat, and that is very unlikely. Whereas someone with longer dreads, the hair could have been seen even with a hat on. Also, there was an Instagram post from E-Dog 
and tweets from HK's sister. Him and they was mad. They said, every time I think about my brother, especially I came and how I said, uh, back door home, I see red and thinking about killing a nigga and be thinking about killing a nigga. H-E-C is still be alive if he ain't hanging with haters. Y'all know that, bro. Don't go after the ops no more. They snake they friends. Oh, wow, cut the grass. Get out of here. Snaked out. So his sister was saying his friends killed him. And just like everybody know, Ty, um, Cashner, Cashner probably, I ain't gonna say they won't walk through old block. But on Sherrod Day, nah. They wanted Sherrod out the way. They was mad at Sherrod too. I can get into details and show you that too. All those deaths are linked. Sherrod, all of them. All of them. HK, Louie. I say Louie. Yeah, Louie ain't dead, but he was snaked, slutty. T-Roy, Fawn, McAdoo, watch your ass. Nemo, all gonna get snaked the same way. Cause it's a dirty game. And like I said. Hinting to the fact that HK was backdoored and killed by someone that he knew. I mean, think about it. Everybody who almost got on live and argued with this man, I had a problem with this man. Rest in peace, Mubu Crump. And also, rest in peace, 051 Mellow. Rest in peace, King Von HK Slutty. TB. Boss Trail. Brick Duck. All right, sad, man. When do it stop? Who gonna keep playing this game? Who's sitting back orchestra? Who's sitting back controlling this game? Because it didn't stop for years now. It never stopped. It just went on from player to player. And certain people just been in the back cut, ordering hits, exterminating black life. Exterminating black life. What other way could you say it? What other way could you say it but exterminating black life? Because that's what they doing. Like, it's sad to say, sad to see. I pray for all these families that don't lost their family members, all these kids don't lost their parents. <sighs> love is love, man. It's your boy Kyle Sada. I just wanted to share this with y'all so y'all get a clear cut understanding. This shit is bigger than music. It's bigger than King Vaughn. I ain't gonna say it's bigger than King Vaughn, but it it was more people died than King Vaughn. That was King Vaughn's close associates that I don't even see why he was still dealing with them after some of the losses that was made with his friends. And I mean from T-Roy to, damn, what was HK killed? I think HK was killed after Vaughn, wasn't he? Or was he? Shit crazy, man. They, they exterminated that whole family. That lady had to bury all her sons. And, and, and watch her, her nephew get buried. I'm gonna leave it there, y'all. It's your boy Kyle Saddam, man. Salute. Thank you to everybody who rock with the channel. Hit, as they say, man, the Cash App thing, it's cool. But I like them thumbs up. Please hit that thumb up to these videos and these videos can get shared throughout the motherfucking YouTube families. So people could get educated on this before they let their kids get set up to be on these major labels. That ain't about shit. You don't even need a major label to get paid no more. See, that's the, the irony of it. Because certain rappers not getting as many views as a YouTuber gets per day. That's just the way it is. It's your boy Costa Dom, man. I'm out of here. Peace.